Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to this another session on human resource management for the upcoming ESIC exam. Now, first of all, of course, because we are talking about human resource management and we'll be discussing some questions on the same. They are not only going to be relevant for your ESIC exam. They are also going to be important and relevant for RBI, SEBI, these two specific examinations. NABARD grade B also has it. So it will be relevant there as well. But for RBI and SEBI, they're going to be very, very relevant. So do not miss it if you're watching it. OK, before starting with the questions for today, uh, a brief introduction about the course, specifically because I'm getting a lot of comments, a lot of uh, questions in the comment box below asking about the course. So I thought let's discuss very briefly about the course. The syllabus is to be covered in two parts. The examination is going to be held in two parts. Part A, which is English language and part B, which consists of 10 topics. The first of which is human resource management, which we will cover today through some questions. The original price of the product is 12,500, but because of Raksha Bandhan, there is a discount going on presently and you will get a 40% discount if you use this code ESIC40, ESIC40. Okay, so it will be in total uh, costs you around 7,500, something close to that. Okay, with that said, let us start with the session for today. The question, the first question that we have is training which is provided in order to ensure job is performed efficiently is called as what? Okay, training which is provided in order to ensure job is performed efficiently is called as what? कि ट्रेनिंग हमने दे दी कि भाई अब तुम जॉब आराम से टाइम पे कर पाओगे एफिशिएंटली मींस टेकिंग आउट मिनिमम टाइम टू कंप्लीट द जॉब ओके आई होप दैट्स क्लियर इसमें आपको व्हाट यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डू अलोंग विद मी इज गेट अ पीस ऑफ पेपर एंड अ पेन एक पेपर और एक पेन ले लीजिए और कीप आंसरिंग दीस क्वेश्चंस ऑन दैट पेपर and after the session, make sure that you are putting in the comment section how have you scored, how much have you scored because as I have been saying, your performance is all relative in this, in this examination or these examinations. It's not your absolute performance which matters. You might be getting 99% but even then you might not get selected. If there are let's say 151 people ahead of you who have also scored more than 99%, it will be selection first. So it's very important and what better way to compare your performance than to you know provide your scores and compare them with other scores it should not result in any form of anxiety or any form of discomfort so have we have to make sure ki hamara jo comparison hai wo constructive hai wo destructive nahi hai it's very very important okay with that said let's start with the session again so I have given you enough time. I hope you must have answered your question in your head by now or paper pe likhliya hoga. The options that we have are learner training, retraining, off the job training and internship training. The answer to this question is option number C, which is off the job training. In off the job training, employees are trained via instructions and made to understand the working of machines to enable them to perform the task effectively and efficiently. Effectively matlab, ढंग से करना गलत नहीं करना एफिशिएंटली मतलब टाइम पे करना ओके सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट ऑफ द जॉब ट्रेनिंग इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द पीपल जॉइनिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिफोर दे एक्चुअली स्टार्ट वर्किंग सो दैट दे कैन वर्क एफिशिएंटली एंड इफेक्टिवली ओके सेकंड क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इज व्हिच ऑफ दीस इज अ सब्जेक्टिव मेथड सब्जेक्टिव मेथड ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल ये देखो कॉमन सेंस वाला क्वेश्चन है बिकॉज़ द नेम इटसेल्फ will give you the answer अगर थोड़ा सा common sense लगा लोगे तो unstructured appraisal भाई structured नहीं है appraisal unstructured है so of course chances are higher that that it is going to be subjective in nature तो अगर आपको नहीं भी आता है you can take this chance अगर आपका score कम जा रहा है exam में तो आप ऐसे chances आपको लेने पड़ेंगे and as one of my teachers used to say uh, common sense is not very common among people. So it's very important that common sense ko saath mein develop karna hai. Okay. Thoda risk to lena padega life mein bhi aur exam mein bhi agar clear karna hai. But the risk should not be irrational, illogical. It has to be rational. It has to be based upon some kind of logic, some kind of common sense. Wo bhoat zaruri hai. Okay. Critical incident. This is your homework. Aapka ye homework hai. Checklist approach, goal setting, critical incident. You have to read about these 
मेथड्स ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल अगर नहीं पढ़ा है इनको पढ़ो एंड यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट दीज मेथड्स ओके इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड पर्टेंट इन द अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड मेथड द अप्रेजल प्रोसेस डज नॉट फॉलो एनी स्पेसिफिक स्ट्रक्चर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय बाई द सुपीरियर एंड ही हैज टू यूज हिज ओन जजमेंट विदाउट एनी ऑब्जेक्टिव बेसिस टू फॉर्म एन ओपिनियन अबाउट एन इंडिव कोई ऑब्जेक्टिव बेसिस नहीं है कोई चेकलिस्ट नहीं क्रिएट की है देर इज नो आइडेंटिफाइड स्ट्रक्चर कि भाई इस इन इन पैरामीटर्स के बेसिस पे आप जज करेंगे एम्प्लॉय को वेदर ही हैज़ परफॉर्म्ड वेल और नॉट इट इज बेस्ड प्योरली अपॉन द डिस्क्रीशन ऑफ द सुपीरियर कि उसको कैसा लगा आपका काम ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं विद दिस वेन अ रेटर हैज इन एडिक्वेट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट सब ऑर्डिनेट्स इन एडिक्वेट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट सब ऑर्डिनेट्स देखो की वर्ड्स आइडेंटिफाई करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है यू माइट गेट ब्लफ्ट आउट यू माइट गेट यू नो मूवड इन दी रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन थ्रू दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज जो इसमें टर्म्स यूज किए गए हैं वो काफी ज्यादा जेनेरिक हैं वो बहुत हम इधर उधर यूज करते हैं दैट्स वाई When a rate rater has inadequate information about subordinates, the type of error or bias he is likely to commit is. So he does not have minimal. He does not have one information. He is not using one information to create an idea about uh, that subordinate. ऐसा कुछ नहीं कर रहा है. Therefore, stereotyping should be out. You might feel कि भाई inadequate information है. That's why stereotyping. But stereotyping का बहुत है. When we are using one information. religion as an information in order to stereotype in order to classify a person as uh, you know being so and so okay so inadequate information does not or is not equal to using one information to judge a candidate okay recent behavior bias no that is also not possible central tendency error and strictness strictness has nothing to do with inadequate information even when you have adequate information you might be strict okay central tendency error this happens specifically when you don't have uh, you know enough information about the candidate to aap kya karte ho zyada tar candidates ko beech mein dal dete ho you give them average score you give them close to average score why because you don't have enough information aur ye kabhi kabhi tab bhi hota hai when you don't want to put employees on the extremes because you don't want to compare them you you want to be in good light With all the subordinates, कि भाई कोई मेरे को ये ना बोले somebody should not दे say that I did not score them well, I did not give them good evaluation for some personal benefit because of some personal vendetta. That should not happen. So those are people pleasers kind of superiors. That is another reason. But yes, it happens when you do not have in, enough information about the subordinates. तो आपने average को दे दिया सबको. ठीक है ठीक है सब everybody is performing well. ठीक है जाओ let's. That is central tendency bias. I hope that's clear. यहीं पर यहाँ पर वही लिखा है Let's come to the next question. Job evaluation does not help to determine what. देखो ये भी common sense वाला ही question है Okay? If you read the question and the options closely, you can come to the answer very easily. Job evaluation मतलब job के बारे में बात हो रही है Person के बारे में नहीं job के बारे में नौकरी क्या करनी है रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी क्या है वर्थ ऑफ जॉब पोजिशन ऑफ जॉब इन हेरा डिमांड्स ऑफ अ जॉब ऑन वर्कर्स एंड द फोर्थ इज पोजिशन ऑफ द वर्कर्स देखो अलग अलग हो गया ना तीन ऑप्शन जो है दे आर टॉकिंग स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट द जॉब वर्थ ऑफ जॉब पोजिशन ऑफ द जॉब इन हेरा एंड डिमांड्स ऑफ द जॉब बट द फोर्थ वन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द वर्कर की वर्कर की क्या पोजिशन है रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है क्वालिटी है एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दैट इज वाई this should not be the answer option this should be probably this should be the answer option this this does not help to determine job evaluation does not help to determine position of workers it helps to determine the first three okay so this was based upon common sense the answer option to this is option d i hope it's clear a job evaluation is a systematic way of determining the worth or value of the job in relation to other jobs in an organization it does tell us the position of it does not sorry it does not tell us the position of workers in the organization okay last question pe aate hain i think this is the last question for today when the cost incurred on the recruitment and training of employees is considered in determining value of employees it's called dash approach of hr accounting thoda common sense yahan par use hoga along with common sense thodi knowledge bhi hogi so it's a mix of common sense and knowledge 
ओके दोनों का मिक्स है जो यहाँ पर यूज होगा वेन द कॉस्ट इनकर्ड ऑन रिक्रूटमेंट एंड ट्रेनिंग ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज रिक्रूट कर लिया उसके बाद ट्रेन कर लिया दैट कॉस्ट इज बींग यूज टू डेटमाइन वट इज द वर्थ ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय देन वॉट इज इट गोइंग टू बी कॉल्ड एज कंटिन्यूस कॉस्ट नो इट इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो इनकर्ड ओनली वंस इन अ वाइल तो कंटिन्यूस कॉस्ट तो हो ही नहीं सकता संग कॉस्ट मतलब जो पहले कॉस्ट हमने करी बट दैट इज नॉट बींग यूज वो खराब हो गई पूरी कॉस्ट दैट इज संग दिस इज नॉट यूजलेस ओके सो संग कॉस्ट नहीं हो सकती वैल्यू एडेड कॉस्ट और हिस्टोरिकल कॉस्ट में थोड़ा कन्फ्यूजन हो सकता है द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज हिस्टोरिकल कॉस्ट अनदर होमवर्क प्लीज रीड अबाउट वैल्यू एडेड कॉस्ट रीड अबाउट इट गूगल करो पाँच मिनट में समझ आ जाएगा वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हिस्टोरिकल कॉस्ट एंड वैल्यू एडेड कॉस्ट द रीजन आई एम नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन हेयर इज टू रीजन्स एक तो सेशन थोड़े छोटे रखने हैं जिससे आपको आसानी हो पढ़ने में नंबर टू आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज ऑल्सो टू पिच इन थोड़ा बहुत पिच इन करिए कमेंट सेक्शन में भी डाल सकते हो सर दिस इज वैल्यू एडेड कॉस्ट ओके द मोमेंट यू डू दैट रिसर्च पाँच मिनट भी लगा दोगे you will never forget the difference between historical and value added cost and it actually might come in the examination and help you get that extra one mark or two marks okay to bahut zaruri hai khud bhi thoda sa saath mein pitch in karna in that way you will never forget aapne dekha hoga if somebody tells you uh, sit down with me and just see me whatever i am doing and you can learn uh, by observing me now you might get 10% 20% of what he's uh, he's doing but 80% of the times you will be zoned out now another situation another person might say okay observe for 5 minutes whatever i'm doing and then i will make you do it you will get probably 60 70% of what he's doing because now you have that responsibility bhai mere ko bhi karna hai i also have to do it after this and therefore your input as well as your output will be higher in this case the same applies here i'm giving you certain responsibilities and then you have to put it in the comment section below first of all share karoge information you will never forget it secondly another person uh, will also be motivated to read about it and will also get to know about value added cost automatically okay i hope this is clear so this was all for today's session i hope it was useful if you have any doubts related to the syllabus related to anything about this examination you can call on this number इस नंबर पे कॉल कॉल कर सकते हो और यू कैन आस्क अबाउट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू दिस कोर्स और रिलेटेड टू द सिलेबस एट लार्ज एज वेल ओके ऑल द बेस्ट गाइज टेक केयर बाय बाय